Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Summer Showdown SBCs that were released today in FIFA Ultimate Team as a part of the Summer Heat promo. We got to talk about these Summer Showdown SBCs because EA dropped them today. They're actually really interesting. EA is continuing with the quality content in this Summer Heat promo. It's honestly ridiculous that they keep coming out with solid content every single day for the past, what is this now, like five days, they have released solid content. Can they do it again on Tuesday today? We shall see. Uh, but I wanna talk about these two SBCs, talk about the time frame, which is actually pretty interesting because these SBCs um, are not going to expire when we originally thought they were, right? The, this game, Bayer Leverkusen versus, um, versus FSV Mines, right? Mines Leverkusen, that game is on Saturday at 2.30 p.m. UK time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, my time. And this SBC expires at 6 p.m. UK and at 1 p.m. Eastern, my time. So this SBC will be still available while the game is going on. And this is not how I imagine this to happen. I don't know if this is an EA mess up and if these will change. Um, but I wanna talk about this today and just talk about the time frame. And just maybe how this could be hyped up still going forward in the future when we have more of these Summer Showdown cards released in the FIFA Ultimate Team. But again, this is the tweet from EA Today. SBC is available for a limited time for Musa Diaby and Jean-Paul Boetius. Uh, the winner of the Saturday's match will receive a plus three overall boost, plus one in the event of a draw. Again, EA chose two pretty solid cards here, right? A Bundesliga center attack in mid with Netherland links, which is kind of uh, Dutch links, which is dope. And then a French left mid. Now, this guy is a lot more hype in terms of like upvotes, right? That's one way to kind of gauge hype on an SBC card is to, to look at the upvotes, look at the stats uh, on Footbin. 669 for Boatius and over 1,000 upvotes for Diaby. So I think Diaby is getting more upvotes because he is a French player. Um, but this is the second... Uh, left mid in the Bundesliga that we have gotten in the past couple days because of the Parisage SBC that has come out as well. But there's so many French cards. Again, it's like foot birthday all over again with all these French cards that we have gotten in Dombele, uh, the Mendy objective, and now Moussa Diaby as well. A lot of French cards um, being dropped onto FIFA Ultimate Team, and it's just kind of the way that it seems EA wants you to go with a French like team this year for whatever reason remember back to foot birthday a lot of french cards were dropped then as well but again i like this concept did they choose the best matchup ever i don't know if they chose the best matchup because you had city and chelsea playing later this week um i had actually i, I tweeted about it earlier earlier on monday i tweeted out chelsea and manchester city that would have been a cool game for them to do the showdown for and as well as uh i think it's is this milan Atalanta and Lazio. So that was another game that I thought was possibly going to get in, and it didn't. Uh, they chose the Bayer Leverkusen and the FC Mines game as well. But I do want to talk about this. I put out a poll earlier today just to kind of gauge the hype to see where you guys were at, at least where my Twitter followers were at on the Summer Showdown, which SBC you were going to do. And honestly, a lot of people voted neither. A lot of people voted neither, but then there's a lot of votes for Diaby at 25.6%. There's just a lot of ways you could go with this. There's literally a lot of ways you could go with this. You could honestly, the way that EA has put out this content as well, you can do both SBCs, right? We thought that maybe it was going to be one SBC and you were going to have to choose a player pick for the two items. That is not how it is. And the SBC doesn't even expire before the game. So technically, the way that it is now, and I don't know if EA is going to change this, but again, as we mentioned, you could wait to see which team ends up winning the game before doing the SBC, because this would go to a 95 rated left mid. This would go to a 95 rated center attack in mid. Both cards would be sick and juiced to the max. Uh, you know, they're already pretty pretty boosted right now. They're not insane. Uh, but again, they'd be boosted to the max, uh, depending on who wins. If I had to guess who would win, I feel like Leverkusen would win. That's just my personal opinion. But both of these cards coming in with an 84 rated squad and a TOTS player required. 80 chemistry is a lot. Uh, but both of these squads are coming in right around 80,000 coins to do. And honestly, you could probably craft these decently easy as well. This only has 75 chem for Boetius. Um, uh, but still, I, this is a W for FIFA content. And that's what you saw a lot of people talking about today. Just because this is a new concept, right? People love the new concepts and stuff that come out in the game. And this is another one. 
This is another great concept that EA has put out with this summer showdown, kind of putting two teams head to head. And these cards are live, right? These are live items. And I would expect that we would see more of this in FIFA 21. Hopefully, they carry this on to the next year as well uh, as they continue to do this over the summer. But if I had to vote for either of these two cards, if I had to do one of them, I think I would do Boatius. But again, you might as well just wait until the, unless the SBC time changes. This says four days remaining, but what that actually mean is, means is like four days and however many hours, right? This is not like four days and then it's it's rounded down. It's actually rounded up. So four days and however many hours left on these SBCs. They will expire Saturday at 6 p.m. UK because they came out on Monday at 6 p.m. UK and they had five days remaining or four days, 23 hours. So that's when they're going to expire. You're going to have plenty of time to complete them this weekend if you want to. I'm probably going to end up completing both of these guys from doing upgrade packs this week just to try to grind these, these cards, right? To grind the menu content. You can do upgrades right now, pack a lot of really cool cards, dump them into a prime icon upgrade, dump them into all the player SBCs that are out. It's just a really, really fun time to be on the menus on FIFA Ultimate Team. And since the menus are where the, the hype is at and where the content is at, I showed you guys some of these trades yesterday. You can absolutely still trade with very high rated SBC fodder because SBC fodder is the name of the game right now. Everybody is buying these cards to do those prime icon upgrades. You might think that since they've been out for a couple days that nobody is doing them and that the hype is going away. That is absolutely not true at all. And again, look at these guys fluctuations. These guys fluctuate 10 to 15,000 coins. Uh, so often this guy, uh, this Gabriel, right, is showing right now on Footbin for eighty thousand coins. He's getting in as the in the the cheapest solution. Is one of those cheap cards, and he's getting bought up in price right now because people just go out and they find the cheapest solution and they buy whatever cards that show up, right? I'm gonna look up Max Carusa as well. I talked about this in yesterday's video. I said, hey, dudes, there's plenty of opportunities to trade with these cards right now on the market. So Carusa is eighty four k. He shows as 82. Um, I like trading with the nine, the 89 rated and higher, especially team of the season cards and not cards that are in packs. Um, just because the cards that are in packs still have that supply, they're still getting you know put on the market. But uh, who else is one? Hamdala. Hamdala is a guy that fluctuates a lot. Let's take a look at this graph, right? And I know I've talked about this the past few days, but this is seriously the best way to trade and to make coins right now. And honestly, just to to do something on FIFA, like this is the best thing to do in the game. Hamdallah is 88,000 coins. What did his price do today? He reached a low of uh, 85,000. He peaked at, you know, right around 100K. I'm going to ignore that because that is not correct from Footbin there. Went down to 76 and then back up to almost 100,000 coins again. And right now he is 88. So he's kind of, he's kind of chilling in the middle on the high range. As you can see right here, I've got a Hamdala on an open bid. If I can snag this at like 81,000 coins, uh, I think that I can sell this card around 90K at some point within the next day or so. And we will be chilling and good to go uh, on a quick flip like that. And that's honestly what I've been doing just very slowly and very steadily. I haven't done it with a lot of players, um, but it's something that you can very easily do uh, right now in foot. Again, I... There's a lot of people that are playing this game and a lot of people that are grinding the menu content. Like that is what there is to do right now. So that's why I'm trading with this method and trading with these cards. You can still trade with other cards in the market as well. You can you can look at some of the uh, OP SBC, uh, not not SBC cards, but you know, some of these, these special cards, maybe if they're out of packs, uh, team of the season cards in general, like, uh, you know, your League on Tots. I look at League One team of the season cards all the time. Some of these cards actually bounced up a bit today from what I'm seeing. Uh, cards that, you know, people wanted to buy for their teams. Wow, look at this, man. Lala is actually 390? Lala is almost 400K, man. This guy was 340K Sunday night. So if you bought any TOTS cards yesterday, uh, or at least some of the very meta ones, uh, Hakimi is somebody that I'm kind of interested in as well. They keep dropping these Bundesliga cards, Bundesliga um players in the game for summer heat like they've we, we've gotten the uh Perisic, right we have gotten now two bundesliga cards through um the boetius and through the diaby today that's three bundesliga cards uh i'm not forgetting any am i i don't think i am um 
but that Perisic was one that a lot of people did. It just, there's a lot of hype on the Bundesliga right now, especially a couple weeks ago during Ultimate Tots when the, the guaranteed Sancho pack was out. So if you're looking for maybe some Thursday flips this week and you're looking around the market for some possible panic, definitely look later this week in Bundesliga midfielders, Bundesliga defenders. Um, Upa Meccano is somebody that I'm like really, really interested in um, just because that card has got all the French links and... Uh, he has got the Bundesliga links as well. And I think right now he's kind of up in price around like the 360, 370 range. But if this guy, if they would release a center back at any point this week and you see a guy like this drop down maybe 30, 40, 50,000 coins for whatever reason, that could be a card that you really, really start to look at and say, hey, uh, along with some other Bundesliga cards, maybe like a Kimmich, right? As a CDM, there's not a lot of midfielders in the Bundesliga uh tots card wise right because it, the only cards that i want to be trading with myself at this stage of the game is going to be team of the seasons whether if we're talking for like a weekend league caliber squad um kimmich has got the the high low work rates on the tots right yeah he does but he's a very good cdm center mid you've got thomas muller who you could throw in there and you've got like moments kimmich who is not available on the market so the key is the cards that are available on the market that people can buy or their teams. I feel like a lot of people could be rocking Bundesliga this weekend, especially uh, on a Saturday. And it, we'll, we'll have to see how long it takes EA to actually upgrade these Summer Showdown cards. Uh, I would assume that it's not going to be instantaneous, uh, but probably, you know, in the range of like a day or so. So uh, these guys, whichever team wins, or if they draw, they'll both get the plus one. Hopefully a team wins though, man, because I would like to see the plus three rating on either of these dudes. Uh, in, in my opinion, but we should see that that boost decently soon And then I think that's where that car design is going to come in with the white flame on the top You will see that white flame uh, on the top of that card where right now it is kind of like uh, Kind of it's, it's grayed out. I think you will see that um, Kind of turn to the white Activated right, you know, like we had the uh, the headliners after they got that the boost for their team winning uh, four games in a row earlier this year we did get a pack supply SBC today. I think it was like a, um, what was it? It was, was it a footmas challenge? No, it was a, it was the black cats SBC from ultimate scream, a small prime gold players pack, which is, it was tradable, which that's a decent pack. And I didn't really see a lot of stuff drop today. Lucas dropped a little bit. He went from 70, 83,000 coins down to 76. Right now he's 78. I was hoping for a, a tradable pack supply SBC to maybe drop the market a little bit. Uh, in terms of supplying these cards and supplying SBC fodder, but it didn't really look like it did too much on a lot of cards. Bruno Fernandez is 115 at the moment. Uh, that is maybe a little bit lower than what he, he was definitely higher than that on the weekend after United played. He was 110, uh, and he was you know 129 to one, almost 130 uh, on the PlayStation. Actually, he's a he's a decent bit higher on the Xbox, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but this might be a card that if, yo, if I can snag him at 110, this is a guy that's going to fluctuate a lot. Even though he is in packs, you know, we've got Manchester United playing IRL football again. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I think United play on, United play on a Wednesday. Interesting. So United have a game coming up in two days. What we saw when United played Spurs in the weekend was this card went up like 20,000 coins in price just because those United fans got to see their beloved center attack in mid Bruno Fernandez actually play in the game of FIFA uh, in real life, not in FIFA, in real life. They actually got to see him play and they were excited to watch United football. So they went out and they bought their United cards uh, to play with in FIFA uh, because football, of course, is now back, which we love to see. But, you know, watch out for that kind of stuff this weekend. I know this is not a live item, but this is something that when there's a lot of hype around football games, which there are right now because the games are back. Just watch some of these items in foot, especially if Bruno Fernandez were to score a goal. Again, this is not a live item, but this guy would definitely, definitely go up in price at because of that. Just because people want to play with this card, because this is the best version of Bruno Fernandez you can buy, at least right now, in this game. So just watch out for maybe another pack supply SBC today on Tuesday. They've been releasing a lot of these to, to try to sort of supply the market a little bit with SBC fodder, but it's really not working just because so many people are just submitting their coins into the menus right now and doing whatever SBCs they need to do to have fun on this game because there's really not much else left to do. If you're grinding Mendy as well, GLs, if you are grinding this objective right now, GLs, 
Uh, keep it up. I know it's a big time grind. I need to start working on the 89 Mendy, which is the next one that I have to go and get. So I got to score some outside the box goals uh, with uh, four star skills, five star weak foot, and then get some crosses in with that 87 Mendy as well. So I would expect a probably a third objective player at some point in the next two days, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Some sort of objective, I think, would get re-released. We'd have a third one in here. Uh, the time frame on Kessie, he goes away in three days. A lot of people have already done this while they were doing uh, Summer Heat Mendy. People are still grinding this one, but I think we'll get a third one. And then probably another SBC on you know today or tomorrow as well. Tomorrow on Wednesday, we do have Team of the Week. I'll talk about that a little bit uh, uh, in tomorrow's video as well. But yeah. Hey, Summer Heat content, again, this is a W from EA. I know it's only an 84 rated squad, so we look at that and we're like, man, that's very cheap. It's it's 80, 90,000 coins right now just because of how expensive fodder is. But still, that's a good value card. That's an end game stat boost was the most important thing for a lot of those cards. It was a very end game stat boost. EA did a very good job there. Hopefully we continue to see hype games chosen for the next few times. They said they're doing that every week. So every single week we should get a Summer Showdown SBC selection and I'm guessing it's going to continue to come out on Mondays for the next weekend's game right so the Monday SBCs will come out for the weekend games is what I would think we would see uh, in the coming weeks over the summer heat promo uh, and then again today watch out for any SBCs or objectives that could come because we've gotten a, we've gotten some sort of content every single day and I don't think that stops by the way I think you guys might wonder where I finished the weekly I did finish gold too I got to 17 wins, so we will have the 90-plus player pick uh, guaranteed slot for our rewards on Thursday, which will be interesting to see how rewards are Thursday. It's going to be a whole different scenario with all the weird cards that are in packs. It's going to be interesting. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you're hyped for Summer Showdown, smash the thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.